Robert Chan and welcome back to my channel. Did you know that Americans eat over 11 pounds of chocolate every single year per person? With that much chocolate being consumed, it's really important to answer the question, is eating chocolate good for kidney stones? In this video, you're gonna find out. So first, let's go shopping for some chocolate. On our shopping list includes milk chocolate, dark chocolate, chocolate milk, hot chocolate. We're gonna try the answer to the questions, is dark chocolate or milk chocolate better to heat for kidney stones? And then also, is chocolate milk or hot cocoa better for kidney stones? Finally, how much chocolate is it safe to eat per day if you've had kidney stones in the past? Ethan, how's the chocolate? Now when you're looking at bars of chocolate, it's really the cocoa content that drives the amount of oxalates in it. For instance, this dark chocolate with 70% cocoa, this has got 270, 207 milligrams per 100 grams. While this milk chocolate here, this has got 38 cocoa content and it's only got 125 milligrams of oxalates per 100 grams. Next let's look at chocolate milk versus hot chocolate powder. You'd think that these things would be pretty similar in terms of oxalate contents but there is almost a tenfold difference between the two. Hey, Ethan, what do you think of chocolate milk? Is it good? Yeah. One cup of hot chocolate has got almost 65 milligrams of oxalates. It is super, super high. Whereas chocolate milk only has about seven milligrams. How much chocolate can you eat in a day? In general, if you've had calcium oxalate kidney stones, you should try to eat less than 100 milligrams of oxalates per day. You can drink 13 cups of chocolate milk or seven of these milk chocolate bars if you were to eat nothing else per day. So my takeaway is if you have to choose, get the milk chocolate instead of the dark chocolate, drink the chocolate milk instead of the hot chocolate. Now stick around for some fun facts about chocolate that you may have never known about.